it seems there was a person again in one of my books i've given this example there was a person who prayed to the lord he says oh lord please please fulfill my desires fulfill my desire the lords once came to him it seems and told him seer he came in his dream and told him seer by fulfilling desires you will not be happy please understand by fulfilling desires you will not be happy this man in the dream also he advises god and says oh god you mind your own business but fulfill my desires happiness is my job oh mera kaam hai right your jo- your job is a provider being happy is my job okay the lord says tatastu i'll fulfill but one condition everything has a condition and what is a condition whenever your desire is fulfilled any desire is fulfilled the neighbor will get the double of it anta dan ki moku gain and loss und kada the neighbor will get double of it this man was so greedy of his desire being fulfilled he was so ignorant of it he said doesn't matter my desire should be fulfilled okay the lord said tatas so he prayed for the lord oh lord i want one mercedes benz and doing mercedes benz came up very happy sat the mercedes benz the neighbor has two mercedes benz are idi endra babu idi nen prayatnam chestanu vaalku labhamu i am putting effort is thing there all right oh the next day he said oh lord i want a beautiful bangla the lord says tatastu doing a beautiful bangla he felt very happy he saw the neighbor has two one for him and one for his wife so every time his desire was fulfilled the neighbor was getting two 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 and he felt so unhappy so unhappy and he said all right this is unfair no tell me was he happy now not happy i want to understand not happy right so therefore you are unfair so then he thought to himself he is a he is a businessman once a businessman always a businessman like once a soldier always a soldier once a swami ji always a swami ji that's why swami ji don't get married because they'll convert their wife also into swami ji all right so therefore what he said okay or oh lord please see remove one eye of me one eye and wing both the alpha size has gone all right and then he feels so happy happy was he happy and then he feels so guilty ashamed for nothing that person's both eyes has gone he feels guilty and ashamed i have done for both have gone right i want you to understand please see i want you to understand if you look at life through jealousy through sensuousness you are not going to be happy if you look at life from sacredness if somebody is beautiful you appreciate what a beautiful piece of art the lord has created you feel happy and therefore a wise man looks at the world from a sacred eye whereas an unwise man looks at the world from a sensuous eye sensuous eye filled with impurity filled with jealousy you think when you hate somebody hate that community hate that religion hate that this one you think it is helping you when you hate somebody hate has to hit you first it has to harm you first before it goes there and therefore please understand an unintelligent person an unwise person doesn't realize when he hates a religion hates a community hates somebody it is harming him the fire is burning him and therefore he is unaware and through hatred he suffers suffers atma eva atmanah ripuhu the lord says ripu ante shatru it is your own enemy there and therefore please understand a wise man very clearly sees looking at life from a sacred angle is a greatest friend looking at life from a sensuous angle 
right from a not a sacred angle is the greatest enemy and therefore change the drishti 